challenger doesn't lose his bottle. John Evans from Derbyshire says that he can make his way up this series of ascending steps, carrying first 36 crates, then 48, then 60, then finishing with 91 crates when he reaches the final stage of the challenge. By balancing 91 crates on his head for 10 seconds, John will break his own world record. Ladies and gentlemen, John Evans. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Make yourself at home. Dark management. <laughs> you look like the two runs yeah. on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, that no, that's good. That really isn't it, because that's quite a hefty thing. That uh, ninety-one crates up there. Yeah. Twenty-one stone. Twenty-one stone. Yep. Yeah. What uh, What was the previous world record? Well, I've got the Guinness World Record anyway, and it's, it is ninety crates. But I'm going to beat it by one tonight, hopefully. Well, I hope you do as yeah. well. Now, listen, how are you going to distribute? The, do, you, do you wear anything on your head? Or do you wear... Yeah, yeah, I've got this technical hat. 50p oh. hat. 50p hat, yes. <laughs> and it. pop it on. You sure? Yeah, go on. That's it. Oh, you're doing a good bit in the <laughs> Oh, that's it. And it's uh, just a 50p hat, and that's all you need. You see, you too, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody can do it. Could lift to 91 crates if you kind of so desired. <laughs> So, uh, you've actually uh, carried some unusual things on your head, haven't you? A tremendous amount of things, because I've, with this, in the last four years, I've raised over £20,000 for charity doing different things, and people come and give me different things to Good do. Man. Good man. I've, I've done uh, 90 crates, I've, I've done beer barrels, I do 20, um, 10 beer barrels all at once, 170 pints of beer. Uh, I also do, which is in the Guinness Book record as well, is, is a shell of a mini car on my head, which I bounce a whole car on my head. Yeah. Um, 66 bricks, which is a Guinness World Record, that's 21 stone. Um, I bounced two cement mixes on me at once, and then all these have been sponsored for me to raise the money for different charities. I bounced a sumo restaurant on me, and he was 20 stone, with a big nappy on and all this. And, yeah. So what happens if you actually drop the crates? Oh, well, I failed. Oh, yeah, that's right. So they made. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the idea is, is for me to walk up these steps without holding the crates, holding on. I see. When so I, when you're actually on the flat, you can I hold can, the I thing the crates, and steady yeah. yourself. Yeah. But yeah. going up the steps, it's just balancing yeah. on your head. Yeah. And when you finally get to those 91 crates up there... Yeah, I'm going to put the 60 down, mm. which I've got to take up that last lift, which is very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult going up the steps because you, all your body is on the move and yeah. you've got to keep the whole thing going. It's, you need a tremendous strong back and neck, and I've got the strongest neck in the world as well. And, and you, need, you need a tremendous amount of... Uh, so when you're balancing strength. that 91 crates, yeah. for 10 seconds it has yeah. to be, and no you can all count this down, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. when he gets uh, to the top, this will be a new world record. OK, right, we're going to find out if everybody believes in you as much as you believe in yourself. So I want you to go and get ready and prepare yourself, ladies and gentlemen, John Evans! <laughs> Well, will yes. a world record be set on the show tonight? Of course it will, Matthew. I think there is absolutely no doubt this man needs massive support, and I'm here to give it to him. Thank you very much, James. Michaela? Um, I think if someone can have a sumo wrestler who, who probably moves around on your head and still balance that, they can balance some crates. So I'm going to say yes and good luck to him. Tony? Um, I think this is going to be a, a difficult one. And uh, with 91 crates, I think he can do it, personally. But by the time he finishes his career, he's going to end up like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're going to go for it now? I'm going go for yes. Going for oh, it. you're going to go for it, yes. Okay, okay. we've got uh, three yeses. David. Well, I actually think he can do it, and I hope he does. But just to make life interesting, I'm going to say no, because then I might shoot into the lead and take all the money. Okay. <laughs> three yeses, one no. Let's see what the audience think. Place your bets now, please. And also your home. What do you think? Can John do it? He's had a lot of stuff on his head, poor man. Probably not well now. <laughs> right, we've got a lot of confidence in the audience here. 70% say yes, and only 30% say no, he can't. OK, John's assistants... Ian Seal and Adam Bates are in place. John, are you ready? Yep. Take your time. You. Good luck. It's all yours. Thank you. Yeah, he's all steady. Yeah, no. 
three step. You're not in a race. Four step. Five step. Six step. Seven step. Eight step. Platform now. Okay, you're on the platform. I'm all right now. You're all right now? Yeah. <laughs> Very nerve-wracking, this show. <laughs> Isn't it, good? All this nice audience, they're all going for you, and you're, you're trying your best to do it to not let You've got do. it off your mind now, I've got John. I've got it off my mind. I've got it off I've never seen such a well-deserving case for one of these fabulous and well-coveted awards. Ladies and gentlemen, John Evans! Thank you. Thank you. 